Hey girls, it's Monday. I'm Sarah. Welcome to 5 Girls 5 Minutes. I'm not introducing myself to you. I'm introducing myself to people who are new. Anyway, I had a busy weekend. I went to see Coriolanus, which is really funny to say, um, on Saturday late in DC and then we came back and it was really late and then the next morning I get, got up at 8.30 and went to hang out with my local nerd fighters. I, we had another nerd fighter gathering and it was awesome. Uh, we got pizza and we went to politics and prose and then we hung out in one of the girls houses. We got to like all 50 or something of us were all sitting in her living room talking about books and then her mom came home and looked horrified at first. It was really really funny. Um, she wasn't horrified and I'm pretty sure she'd had some advance notice but she was surprised at how many people were in her living room. It was great. Nerd fighters are awesome. They're my favorite type of people. Um, I'm biased, but they're awesome. I've like I've been having a really happy time getting to know everybody and being a nerd with them. It makes being a nerd even better when you can share it with other people who are the same way, or at least understand. You don't always have to agree, but you're sharing stuff with people that you know are thoughtful and will respect you and listen to your opinions and stuff. It's really, really nice. Um, and I wanted to show you, when I went to Politics and Prose, a lot of us were buying John Green's books, but I already have all of Jean, John, Jean, John Green's books, except for, um, I don't have the Let It Snow book yet, and they didn't have that one there. I was going to buy it, but they didn't have it. So everybody else was buying John Green books, or like Maureen Johnson books or something, and I, I was trying to think of if there was anything that I wanted to check out that I hadn't checked out yet, because I've already read Maureen Johnson, a lot of her books from the library. And then I realized Neil Gaiman, because Neil Gaiman is somebody that comes up a lot in Nerdfighteria, and somebody who's been on the radio, and somebody that I think is really fun, but I've never actually read any of his books, or seen Coraline, or anything. So I got Coraline, and I'm going to try to read it before I get it on Netflix, so that I have read it first. I got Coraline, and that was exciting, and uh, actually the girl who hosted the um, book discussion at her house is the one who helped me find Coraline, so awesomeness. And I also got this one because this one was recommended to me by another nerd fighter. So I'm gonna have like Neil Gaiman nerd time after I finish the book I'm reading right now, which is about Gabby Giffords, and it's really good too. It's, you know, it's autobiography type thing. It's a little different, but I love books. I love reading things that are new and things that I wouldn't have checked out if people hadn't recommended them to me. So Yes, if you have book recommendations, you should give them to me, because I can always go to the library as well, but now I actually own Neil Gaiman, and he can sit on my bookshelf with John Green. That's actually where he has been sitting, so that works. And, um, so Tally was talking about browsing the inter- like, having a whole bunch of, um, tabbed browsing open when she's on her computer. Um, I- I used to be horrible about that. I think I used to have- this is probably going to sound lame to you because you have so many windows open. I, I only really use Firefox. I can't handle the multiple browsers just because my computer, for one thing, would explode. My computer's from 2005, which doesn't feel like it's that old, but it is. Um, if I get a new laptop, I'm sure I'll have more windows and stuff open, but for the time being, I can't really have too many tabs open anymore because the, the Firefox starts to be really slow. I used to have like five tabs open. But usually what I do is I, I have my uh, Gmail tab open, and then I'll open another uh, tab to do some fun times. And then if I'm in the middle of something in that tab, I'll open another one to like look things up or something. So I usually have at most three, and that's it's pretty good because that way I can focus on the three rather than getting distracted, because I'm very easily distracted, um, especially at night. At night, um, my mind wanders and I go off and look up other things and so getting things done is hard when I have multiple things open. So, um, but that's really cool that you can do that because I, I don't have the right type of mind for that. Um, sparkly things distract me. So, um, yeah. And then Itzel didn't ask a question, but Itzel showed her airheads that have um, big time rush on them and I thought that was really cool. I haven't had airheads since, like, middle school, and that was a long time ago. Um, so that's exciting that you got them, and that you got them on the packet. That's cool. Um, 
I, I don't think I've ever really liked a band that has been on things like that. Um, I think I have a I have a Valentine on my wall from Lord of the Rings, so I, I have liked things that are on Valentines, but I've never liked something that was on a candy wrapper, so I think that's pretty cool. I don't think you asked a question. I hope you didn't ask a question because I'm forgetting to answer it. Um, and my question is... Uh, I feel like I have no question, but I guess, are you, are you the type of person who's open to suggestions, whether it be books or television or music or whatever? Are you open to suggestions and are you open to checking things out? Or are you the, are you the type of person who has like very specific genres that you do not want to ever try? I know some people are like that. Like my mom sometimes doesn't want to try something. Like she thinks the Sherlock, the new Sherlock is weird because they're changing, they're making it more modern. That's my question, and Tara, I hope to see you tomorrow.